Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at the arranger track. Now the arranger track allows you, uh, as the name implies, allows you to arrange the parts that you've already got. So it's very good for building up song structure and auditioning different arrangements in terms of uh, structure that you want to put in. So there's a few things we need to go through. First thing is we want to create an arranger track and you make that just like any other track. So right click in this area or go to project add track and click Arranger, and you'll see that appears there. I'm going to move it up to the top because it's a little easier to understand what's going on, I think, like that. Uh, the other thing is we're going to need controls which are easiest to see on the transport bar. So I'm going to hit F2 to bring the transport bar up, and then right-click and bring up the Arranger part so we can see these are here as well. Now, what the Arranger does is it allows us to identify different parts of the song and then create an order for them to be played in. So I'm going to use the pencil tool and just pencil in some parts. So I'm going to have my intro, uh, a verse of sorts, a chorus, a break, and then an end of the song. Uh, just like any other part in Cubase, you can name them. So you just click on them and then change them in the info line at the top. So I'm going to call that one intro. This one is going to be uh, verse. This one is going to be the chorus. Predictably, that will be the break. And then I'm going to have my outro there. There we go. So now we've got those, we can actually put these into the chain. And the way you do them, you can see we've got these arranger events here. And the quickest way to do them is to just double click on the name here. And if I double click intro, you can see that gets put in. And then I'm going to have a verse, and a chorus. Now, as soon as this is activated, then it will play that in order. So we will actually uh, get to hear what's, what's happening. So that's this button here. So if this is turned off, as it would be by default, um, that will just play normally. But as soon as you turn this on or you turn it on with the button here, then you will get the arranged version of it. So if I play that now, we will see we get intro. And then the verse. And then the chorus. And that's it. It plays that and then it stops. So we can soon add to this. So let's say we want to have another verse. So we'll double click that. Another chorus, maybe a break, then a chorus and then the outro. So that will play all of those in order, in the order that's there. So you can quickly uh, knock up the structure for your song once you've identified these different sections. Uh, I won't play through that because obviously you will get the idea, but if we were to play through that, we would get intro, verse, chorus, etc. You can also change the number. So let's say at the end we wanted two choruses. We can soon do that, etc. So that will that will play those like that, which is, is really good for setting up and auditioning different structures for songs with material you've already got. There's a few extra things we can do. So we can create a new chain. So let's say you were undecided as to whether this was the way you wanted to go or you wanted to go a different way. So let's say we're going to go intro and then a couple of choruses first and then verse. You notice that if you double click that, you see that it added to there as well. So if you add that again, that would you know, add in another one as a number rather than as an individual listing. And then we'll go verse, chorus, break, and then a verse, and then outro. And you can quickly switch between the two. So if you're a bit unsure as to which one you want, you can just pick that and then play through it, and away you go. Straightforward. Uh, there are a few little things which are quite useful. So let's say we decided that after the, the break, we wanted to have a bit of this intro. That's easily done. All you do is you create a new part. So you can see here I'm going to pencil on the arranger track here and make a part which is just those last two there. And I'm going to call that uh, intro uh, two. Okay, so there's my intro two. And then we can insert that wherever we want. So I'm going to go back to arranger change chain one and then maybe put that after the break so i'm just going to double click that and then i'm going to drag it to where i want so you can reorder these however you want there's a drop down menu here which is quite useful 
So if you click that, you can duplicate a train. So if you think, ah, this is nearly what I want, but I want to experiment with it, then you can just duplicate it and then make a new one. And obviously you can rename them and reduce them. But um, flatten, okay? So what flatten does is it takes whatever you've created and then turns that into the arrangement that you would have had in Cubase if you programmed that originally. So we're going to take this uh, arranger chain one here and then flatten that and you'll see that the parts will be put where you would expect them to be. So there we go. It gets rid of the arranger track and then puts those as if that had been programmed in. And fortunately you'll see there's undo, so you can just undo to go back to that if you want to do that. But Arranger change are really great for making up your arrangement and experimenting with different choices and flipping between them quickly because obviously you could do all that by doing undo or maybe making a new version of the song that starts at bar 90 or whatever. But it's it's much easier to do this and you can experiment quickly. And then when you are sure about that, you can flatten it. Or my typical workflow would be to save the version that I've got with the arranger in and then flatten it and save it as a different version so I can always go back to the uh, the arranger version if I want to make changes later on. But there you go, arranger tracks.